And Katie, put a song on. Your choice this time. Can't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. My heart's in overdrive and you're behind the steering wheel. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. There's a chance we can make it now. Right, so I saw that video and I thought, I've got a Tiguan and I've got two kids. Let's not tell them what I'm about to do and try and recreate this scene, see how realistic it is. Can we pick one that we all know? No. So what are you gonna sing? Do you wanna pick a song, Sammy? Yeah, sure. How about Uptown Funk It Up? We'll do that, Maya. No. Why? Uh, but I was picking a song. What did you pick? Banana. We have come with can't agree which I song to sing. I want to play Welcome Gangnam Style. <laughs> Welcome Gangnam Style. Can <laughs> 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 you do that as well? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, Well, he's looking at us, I've got every right to point at him. You want to go home? Wait, no, I don't. Go! <laughs> Going home. No, no, I didn't. I haven't got time for this. No, I'm sorry, I didn't. Hmm, so life doesn't imitate art. Here's the Volkswagen Tig one, everyone. Bringing families together in song by virtue of being a massive crossover with space, comfort, and refinement. And it really does have all those things. For a start, it feels bigger than the last Tiguan, and it feels bigger than the Seat Ateca, which it shares lots of parts with. Much bigger, in fact. And that's a bit weird because we're only really talking millimeters as these fascinating dimensions show. It feels a class above in here in more ways than space. For a start, the quality is as quality as you would expect from Volkswagen. And all the words and phrases that you're obliged to use when you're reviewing a Volkswagen, they all apply. They are quality, done that, sorry. Intuitiveness, granite, solid, imperishable, well damped, for the hand, and ergonomically flawless. Or not. Strangely, Volkswagen's big department of driving positions must have all been out at a David Hasselhoff concert. That was unacceptably xenophobic, wasn't it? And actually even worse, it was just rubbish. Sorry. When this was being signed off, because it's just not quite right somehow. It's just got a bit of a vanish feel about it almost. The pedals are a bit too close like a van and the wheel seems a little bit too far away. Quality's great and everything, but really there are only so many Volkswagens you can get into before you start feeling like you're on a existential carousel of grey drabness. I mean like Joy Division are impressive aren't they but you wouldn't want to listen to them back to back for a whole year. It's not cheap either starting at 23 grand and going up to 40 which is here somewhere you're wading well into luxury car territory at that sort of price which is exactly what this particular car costs. And I mean, for that, you'd at least want to be sitting in a leather seat. Look, I don't want to get bogged down in this whole 40 grand hornet's nest. Nobody's going to buy that one anyway, are they? So what will you buy? Well, let's look at some trims. You change the music to make this a bit more interesting though. It's better. So S is the starting point, and with S you get this and this and this and blah blah and this. Move up to SE, and this stuff is what's added for around two grand on top. An additional 725 quid gets you a sat nav before the leap to SEL, which is where the Tiguan starts to feel like a proper big luxury car, albeit you'll have to spend more still to make the engine follow suit, more of which in a moment. Finally, there's the sporty Tiguan. Upgrades largely cosmetic, although it does get sport suspension if you're interested in upsetting what is normally a very supple riding crossover. And so are the engines. A 1.4 litre petrol comes in two outputs, 125 and 150 horsepower, or there's a two litre petrol with 108 if you're feeling saucy. 
Diesels are the ubiquitous 2 litre unit in 150 and 190 horsepower variants, and there's a twin turbo one with 50 more again. There's no doubting this is practical too, I mean the boot is huge and there are lots of holes dotted around the cabin in which to stuff stuff. And there is of course plenty of space in the back for the kiddies and they're well looked after because this is of course rated 5 stars by Euro NCAP. Crash bang wallet, what a video. So let's say you've settled for a nice SE nav car, say, with a reasonable price. This one. Good petrol engine, DSG, decent amount of kit, a couple of options. So the question is, is it really better than all the other cars that you could be thinking about buying for about 30 grand? Now that could be any number of things from smaller premium stuff from BMW and Audi to pointless premium stuff from Infiniti. And right through pretendy Range Rovers like this and onto non-premium but massive stuff like this. Whole range of things. And that's where things change because this might be boring as out, but it's better than all those. You could nitpick about having a bit too much road noise and being an instantly forgettable driving experience. Or the expensive fancy digital display that you've bought being a bit too fussy. It's a bit ironic because normally Volkswagen's dials are dead simple and clear. But actually to get this much space and quality for that sort of money does feel in context like a really good deal. In fact, the Tiguan's main problems come from in-house. First of all, you've got the Cedar Tekka, which is a little bit smaller, but it's also much cheaper, a lot better to drive, and the quality is very nearly as good. And then there's the Skoda Kodiak, which is bigger, has seven seat practicality, and also is nine tenths of the quality. Obviously, you can't take into account the more abstract stuff like image. And of course, the other abstract concept is neither of them can bring a family together like the Tiguan can. I believe in a thing called love. I'm going home. No, no, I didn't. I mean haven't got time for this. No, I'm sorry. And isn't that what cars are all about? I know it's not man, but it was a good end of money. Shut up. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't already subscribed. And if you're watching it on Facebook, share it, comment, like it, all that stuff. Little emojis, the more emojis, the better. Lovely to talk to you, we'll see you next Friday. Bye! Because that's when we'll put the videos out, generally on Friday.